Hey everyone, welcome back to Python Code Nemesis. In today's video, we'll be exploring domain objects and aggregates in software design. In the world of software design, crafting effective and maintainable applications hinges on understanding core concepts like domain objects and aggregates. These concepts serve as building blocks that shape the structure and behavior of our software systems. In this article, we'll delve into domain-driven design to demystify domain objects and aggregates, exploring their significance, characteristics, and role in designing robust and good software. Domain objects, also known as domain entities, are the heart and soul of domain-driven design. They represent fundamental concepts, entities, or real-world objects within the problem domain your application addresses. These objects encapsulate both data and behavior, reflecting the business rules, constraints, and logic that govern your system's behavior. Some of the characteristics of domain objects include identity. Domain objects possess a distinct identity that differentiates them from other objects. This identity often comes from unique attributes or identifiers. State and behavior, they encapsulate data along with methods and that manipulate and interact with the data. Invariance. Domain objects maintain invariance, which are conditions or rules that must always hold true to ensure the consistency of the object state. Single responsibility. Each domain object should have a clear and well-defined responsibility, focusing on one aspect of the business domain. Aggregation. Domain objects often collaborate and form aggregates to represent more complex concepts. Exploring aggregates. Aggregates are a higher level construct that group together domain objects into cohesive units. They act as a boundary for ensuring consistency, transactional integrity, and enforcing business rules within a bounded context. Aggregates provide a controlled access point to manipulate certain objects promoting encapsulation and maintaining the integrity of the overall system. Here are some characteristics of aggregates. Root entity. Each aggregate has a root entity that acts as the entry point for accessing and manipulating the aggregate's internal objects. Boundary. Aggregates define clear boundaries for transactional consistency. Changes to the objects within an aggregate are atomic and must be maintained as a whole. Invariance enforcement. Aggregates ensure that the invariance of contained domain objects are preserved and consistent. Isolation. Objects within an aggregate should not be accessible or manipulated directly from outside the aggregate. All interactions occur through the root entity. Concurrency control. Aggregates manage concurrency by controlling access to their internal objects. This allows for consistent updates from multiple sources. Applying domain objects and aggregates in e-commerce inventory management. Let's explore how domain objects and aggregates can be applied in the context of an e-commerce inventory management system. In this scenario, we'll consider the concept of products and warehouses where products are stored and managed across different warehouse locations. Domain objects, product and warehouse. The e-commerce inventory management system of product can be a domain object that represents a specific item available for sale. Each product has attributes such as name, description, price, and quantity in stock. Similarly, a warehouse can be another domain object that represents a physical location where products are stored. Each warehouse has attributes like its unique identifier name, address, and storage capacity. You can see that in the code below. Aggregates warehouse inventory to manage product availability across different warehouses and ensure transactional consistency. We can create an aggregate called warehouse inventory. This aggregate encapsulates the relationship between products and their quantities within a specific warehouse. Some of the benefits of domain objects and aggregates for this use case are maintainability. By modeling products and warehouses as domain objects, the code base becomes more aligned with the e-commerce domain, making it easier to understand and maintain. Consistency. 
Aggregates like warehouse inventory ensure that the quantity of products in a warehouse is consistent and adheres to the business rules, preventing overstocking or understocking issues. Scalability well defined aggregates allow us to scale inventory management by focusing on specific warehouse locations without impacting the overall system. Collaboration Domain objects and aggregates enhance communication between developers and domain experts, ensuring that software accurately represents real world inventory management scenarios. Flexibility the clear separation of concerns enables changes to specific parts of the inventory management system without affecting unrelated components. That's it for this video. Feel free to leave feedback or questions in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.